account for the behavior you're describing. Yeah, at first, they're hiding something yeah. real that implicates yeah. them. And yeah. if they're talking to these entities, whatever they are, and I, I believe on the basis of evidence that the U.S. government has made contact and has had continuous or at least sporadic, but over period of years contact, um, you don't need to nod or shake your head. But that is my belief based on talking to people. Like, what is that? Yeah, if there's certainly, you know, a relationship that was cultivated with non-human intelligences, hypothetically, I guess, you know, to play off of what you just said. Good or bad, it's almost like we were afraid after 9-11. Dirty bombs, terrorists. Okay, well, that's nature. That's life. Yin and yang of the universe. If there is malevolent non-human intelligences, okay, well, that's a fact of life. You don't hide it. Because what if the U.S. populace one needs to be prepared for something someday? Well, of Hypothetically. Course. And it's also not you know? their right to hide it because no. they don't own the government. The no. public does, actually. Exactly. And it's just, and I understand the reasons at first, but like you said, I think it's just the moral decay and the de decay in leadership. And once again, well, we don't want to admit we did all this stuff years but ago. But also, yeah. if the U.S. government has had contact with these entities, and again, it is my informed belief that the U.S. government has had contact, what are they talking about? What is that? Hey, I would like to know too. 